So, all right, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. I will. Um, I'll double check that again before we do this again to make sure we've got the right Zoom. I don't know why that link was not working. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us on um, our Team Talk Thursday. And we're going to be talking about Linktree and some different concepts and ways to use that. And I'm going to get on here and I'm going to pull up what I actually, so I can stay in line. So I'm looking at my phone. So we are going to, one, learn how to personally set up an account so that we will have multiple links like for our Pamper Chef website, our virtual catalog, join me link, and any other specials and stuff like that. The second thing we're going to go over is we are going to talk about how we can use these links to um, add host shopping links, multiple shopping links, multiple hosts. So if you're doing block parties, this is a huge help. Um, the third thing we're going to talk about is um, that we are going to learn how to run an unparty party, which is a party, not a party. And the fourth one is to learn what an unparty is all about. So, that, <laughs> so there's a couple of things and I still cannot get somebody in. Um, I do not know. I don't know any other way to let them in. So sorry guys for the, that have tried multiple times to get in. I'm not really certain um, because that link was working. So um, hopefully this recording will help you guys. So um, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with like sharing my screen and let me hang on. I'm gonna make my view, I'm gonna close my this, close that, screen share and, okay, so is that me that muted myself? No, Tracy muted herself. Okay, I looked up and I saw that. All right, do you guys see the um, Linktree website? Are y'all seeing that? Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is what you're gonna do. Um, when you you just log into Linktree, it's like basically www.linktree.com. Don't worry about how they've got it spelled up here in the um, website. That doesn't matter because you're gonna be able to get to it by, I'll just do it and show you. you just simply go to, are y'all y'all see my Google page right now? Yes. Okay. All right. You just type linktree.com and it's going to pull this up. So it is free. There is a paid service, but everything that I'm doing, I'm doing for free. And um, the great thing is, is you can have multiple Linktree accounts using the same email address. So that is a glorious thing for me. Um, so I'm going to get started first by talking about my personal Linktree account. So not about a block party or anything else. And so um, since I already am, I'm just going to go to my account and my personal one is, I believe it is Chef Cheryl. If not, I'm going to log, I'll, I think it's Chef Cheryl. Pretty certain that's what it is. I've got several. So absolutely, this is it. Okay, so this is Chef Cheryl. Let's get rid of that. And um, Cheryl, I have a real quick question. Yes. Um, you're saying that you are you explaining right now why you're running multiple link trees no right now i'm just talking about link tree in general and me having a link tree account for myself okay not parties i'm not talking about parties yet okay i just didn't know if you were why you were doing the two different ones i've got like probably five different ones but I'll, i'm gonna explain that so hang tight Hang tight. Um, so anyway, sorry, I was trying to respond back to her. So this is my personal Linktree account. If you go to my Pepper Chef, um, like my VIP group or my, my personal Facebook page, when you go there, you will actually see this link in my about section, like where it's like contact me or whatever. So if you go to my personal page, you can click my Linktree account and it's going to pull up and it's going to look like this over here on the right side. You're going to see my picture and underneath it has my, let's look over here to the left side so you can kind of see all the links. 
over here, it's got my personal website. You see where it says pamperchef.com slash PWS slash my name. Um, then there is like the favorites link on my Facebook account. I mean, on my, um, the, uh, my personal website. Then you're going to see our spring summer catalog. And then there's. Well, babe, you got the email too. Hang on, Teresa. You're mute, not muted. Oh. Sorry, hold on. I thought, I thought it was fine. muted. That's fine. Um, but then you're going to see like my join my team part. So when a customer opens these up, so let's just go to my link tree. Okay. So this is my personal one. Remember. So when somebody clicks on my link tree, like in my, my, my um, Facebook group, like my personal Facebook page, there is stuff like this. Like they can be like, oh, they can click the first one. Are y'all seeing this? And it carries them over to my Pamper Chef page. Do y'all see that? Yep. All right, let me exit out of that. They click on the second one. It says if they're new to Pamper Chef, here are the favorites. So when you click on that, it's going to take them to the favorites page on my PWS, my personal website. And this is what I created like, I don't know, a year ago. And I just need to update it and add more stuff because I've learned to do more stuff. If they want to see the catalog, well, apparently that's the old catalog. Oh, look, see spring, summer 20. So I need to add the catalog link to that. So see, I've got to update it. It's been a year apparently. Or if they want to join my Pamper Chef team. So it's going to take them right here to being a consultant under my PWS and they can join here. So if I'm ever talking to a customer or a friend and somebody says, you know, hey, I, uh, you know, send me some information. I can send them that link and they can check out the catalog. They can order. There are so many things that they can do for it. And yay, Patsy was able to get in. <laughs> so, so sorry. Um, he, I'm going to tell somebody else to keep trying. So um, we'll make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future. But guys, just to kind of catch you up, Melissa and Patsy that just joined in, were just just started. So you've only missed like two minutes. Um, and we're talking about my personal link tree, not associated with a party, not associated with a host or anything like this. This is just all of my contact information rolled into one thing. Okay. And so right now I only have like four different things. And we obviously just saw that the catalog link was not right. So let's just correct that real quick. There's Patsy. Patsy came in and went out there real quick. All right, so if you're, if you're not muted, guys, if you don't mind, please mute. Um, that will make it a little bit easier for everybody else. Um, let me close this out. All right, okay. So back to my personal link tree account. Um, let's go up here to appearance. So you can make it look however you want to. You can use, I use the pink color. Um, Anything that says pro is a paid link tree account, which I do not have a paid, but I could simply, you know, make mine purple if I wanted to, or I could make it white with blue boxes or black with white boxes. Um, you don't even have to hit save, it automatically saves it. So you don't have to worry about doing anything like that. Um, and you can, but I like the, actually let's just keep it purple, okay. So as we know, we just discovered that one of my links is wrong. Oh, let me show you how to do your picture. So you can add a picture and you just click pick an image. And you can upload from your desktop. You can upload from Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive. I simply just had that picture on my computer. It's easier for me to upload from my computer than anything else. So you just click that and click wherever, you know, can wherever you your pictures your are. Do what? Can you do it from your phone also? You said Absolutely, you yes. Okay. Um, I just don't ever do it from my phone. I actually had to use it yesterday for my phone, but yes, it'll, um, same thing. You'll just go and you'll, you'll select files and it'll, should open it up into your pictures. All right, let's try to add Melissa again. There she is, okay. And I could put a title in here, which I have not. I'll show you all a little bit more later. Like I said, I created this one last year and um, didn't really know a whole lot about Linktree at that time. 
So, or the year before, I guess it was last year. All right. So um, basically that's all I do. If you want to share this link tree, you can click it right there. And whoops, my bad, hold on. This box is in the way of you guys. So let me view. Okay, so if I want to share this, you click share and you just click click copy. And then you can paste it anywhere you want to. In a party, you can paste it. If you're on your phone, you can paste it in a text message, a messenger message, an email, anything like that, okay? So let me um, get out. Let me actually create one for you guys so you can kind of see how to create it because I kind of skipped over that. So let me log out. You can log out down at the bottom. All right. So first time ever using Linktree, we're gonna we're gonna get started. Click get started, and I'm gonna put my email in here, which is setchefcherylbc at gmail.com. And I'm gonna actually create one for a party. So just kind of follow follow my lead here. So you're going to figure out what you want your username to be, okay? So that you're going to set up, say, start off for your personal one. So um, since my personal one's already set up, I'm just going to create another one. So it's going to be like shop, let's see, shop, you know, let's see what my other ones are. PC party with Cheryl three. I don't think I have that one yet. Um, like I said, you can use your same email address over and over and over again. And my password is going to be, I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> Let's see, that was, I don't want any capital letters in it. All right. And I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And I'm going to sign up with email. that off. My full name is Cheryl Wyatt. And you can select as many of these as you want to. It says up actually up to three. So we're like food and hospitality and let's just say independent small business. I'm just going to leave it like that. You don't have to put it, you don't have to do any more. Um, I am not a robot and continue. Okay. Now you can pay six dollars a month. I do not because like I said, everything I do is, is fine. It's fine to be free. You know, I don't see any use in spending, you know, $72 a year for this. So I'm going to go with the free version. I don't, I don't spend a lot of money on things unless I know for sure they're going to bring me freedom and really, really help me out. So continue to my link tree. All right, so this pink bar at the top, you have to publish it or the link won't ever become live, so to speak. So um, I'm not gonna get into that. You just basically send that and then you open up your email and bam, there it is. It's, it's all live and ready to go, okay? So the way you do this is you start with a blank page, okay? And, um, you can add as, I don't know, I probably think I've added like 12 or so links to one before. So, um, and as you add them, you can move the links around. But if you want to make it really easy on yourself, the first link that you put in is going to be at the very bottom. So as you add stuff to it, add links to it, they're going to layer on top of the other one. Does that make sense? So, you know, but if you start putting them in and you realize you want to rearrange them, that's super easy to do. Um, but here's a way to just start doing it to where they build from the bottom up. And I'm actually going to pull one up so I can um, see what I want to do, just so I don't have to go back through it all over again and do it. Um, well, actually, I'll just, I'll figure it out. So let's say the first thing I want to add is, um, say my my personal website okay so you are gonna anything that has a link so a url is what you're gonna call that so anything that has a url you can add in here you can't really add pictures but i will show you how you can add pictures 
as long as they have a URL or a link you can add to them. So I have Consultants Corner opened over here. And this is how I always get to my email or my um, personal website, just makes it easier for me. On Consultants Corner, can y'all see Consultants Corner here? Can somebody unmute and tell me? <laughs> can y'all see Consultants Corner? Yes. Okay, yes. okay, thanks. <laughs> I got y'all closed. <laughs> I got y'all closed, so I can't see nobody's head oh, okay. nodding. So I, I opened you up. So over here, you're going to click View Personal Website, and at the top, this URL right here is my personal website. So I'm just going to highlight that and copy it, and I'm going to go back over to Linktree, and I'm going to click Add New Link, and you give it a title. And so I'm going to say view my personal website. And then I'm going to click this URL button right here. And I'm going to write, I'm going to like copy paste it. So I'm, I'm a shortcut person. So I'm control V and that's, that is paste. Hang on a second. Sorry, my little cleaner was fixing to come in here and make a lot of noise. So as you can see there, my website is there. Um, you want to make sure that that little bar is on so you can turn it off, but you want it to be where they can click it. And there's a trash can here in case you make a mistake, you can delete it. Okay, so let's add a new link. All right, so let's go back to Pamper Chef. And I want to go back to Consultants Corner. So I'm going to teach y'all a couple of tricks. So we are right now viewing my personal website. And way to get back to Consultants Corner, you click, actually, let's stay here for a second. I'll go back to that in a second. Okay. While I'm already here, instead of making y'all go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All right. So let's say I want to add um, join my team link. Okay, so we're going to go over here to Linktree and we're going to put join my team or whatever you want to call it. Um, click the URL, go back to Pamper Chef, click be a consultant. And if you notice the URL changes to, it's still your personal website, but then says be a consultant. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to Linktree and I'm gonna pop that URL in there, okay? We need to add another link. Let's say we're gonna go back to Pamper Chef and I wanna go back over and I wanna get the virtual catalog, okay? So we're gonna click on your name and you're gonna click Consultants Corner because we wanna go back to Pamper Chef Consultants Corner. So if you don't know where your catalog is, I'm gonna show you. You click on Explore and you want to scroll down until you see training. Under training, you're going to find this season's resource guide. You're going to click that. So you didn't know you're going to get like a little extra training in this one training. So this season's resource guide and it tells you what all's new and what's changed. Of course, our catalog changes every six months. So you click on the interactive catalog, not the mini one, because we want to make sure that they see everything in the catalog. So you click on that and you click share. Y'all see all that? I'm at the bottom. I don't want to go too fast. And then you simply click copy. And then you're going to go back to Linktree and you're going to say spring, summer, Okay, so I just put spring, summer, actually I'm going to put 2021 interactive catalog. And then I'm going to paste that right here. Okay. Everybody following me so far? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so what happens when people click these links is, um, let's get it over there. All right, 
Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Where where do people find these links in this link tree? Where do they, how do they? They don't find them? them. You actually will send them to them. And I'll show, I'll tell you that. I'll get with that and when we get to closer to the end. But, okay. you know, a minute ago when I said um, you share it, so you would click that share and you would copy it and then you would send it through messenger or text or post it on your page or in the party and things like that. So that's how they're going to find them. They won't be, they're not going to go in and like search around for them. We're going to have to give them to them. Like if somebody asked you for your, your website link, then you could simply send them this link tree link. And it would not only have your website, but it would have an interactive catalog, um, information about the business. It's kind of like a virtual, all-inclusive package. Okay. So instead of just giving them like a, okay, here's my website. Well, now here's my website and here's a catalog to go with it. Okay. You'll see. Just hang tight. Okay. It is a little bit, it's, you know, especially being new, it's a little bit to kind of grasp. Um, I wasn't really familiar of how this was really going to play out in the very beginning. And I need to stop bucking the system and just kind of go with what I hear other consultants say works and especially successful consultants, because one lady that is very successful over a hundred thousand in sales a year, um, she, I didn't think it was, I thought, oh, that's a kind of silly. I'm just going to do this. And I started using this and I thought, well, that was not silly. It was silly to think that I knew more than somebody that was actually doing it and using it and having success with it. So I kind of thought, I kind of like closed my mind to it until I started using it. And when I, now when I have block parties, they, the host often say, now, how are they going to make sure they're clicking my shop, my shopping link? And I will show you guys that in just a second. So, um, this is just kind of how you build onto it. And we will get to all, get to that in just a little bit, Donna. You'll kind of, you'll see it all kind of come together. So, okay. but first we have to like create it. So think of this as a recipe in your kitchen. You're going to make a cake. You've got to start with the foundation. So we've got the cake mix and we've got all the ingredients, but we've got to put everything together to actually have the final product, right? So that's what we're doing here. Um, and I'm not going to go on and on and on to create this one. I'm just going to show you a couple of, of things and then show you what it looks like in the end. So we've got a couple of things in here already. Now, let's say maybe you want the a shopping link. So, okay, well, there, this is actually, I want, I want to direct somebody to a particular shopping link. Okay. And um, so you're going to go back to Pampered Chef and I'm going to go to my parties and this is just my shopping link that is open all the time. So I'm going to go to my party that's open. And this is my personal party because this is going to be my personal link tree account. So I'm going to click on that shopping link. And I'm going to go back to link tree. And I can put shop in April. Shop with me. How about shop with me in April? Just because. I don't know. I just put that out there. And then I'm going to paste my shopping link there. So now they will have my shopping link if I want to direct them to a particular link. Okay. So let's say I don't really like the way this, this order is. Let's kind of view it. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Let's go over here. Let's view it. So here's what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Open it up. There we go. So here's kind of what it looks like. And maybe I don't like the way these buttons are. Maybe I want them to look at the catalog. Maybe I want to move the catalog to the top. But honestly, I would put the shopping link at the top. But just, just for um, purposes of training, let's move this around. So I'm going to make sure... If you look over here on the top left corner, you're going to see links, appearances, settings, and pro. I'm pretty much going to stay in links and appearance. So whichever one is underlined is where you're at. So keep in mind that over here. Um, so let's say I want the catalog on top. You're going to 
get to move your cursor to where you have a hand. It actually kind of goes over those three dots and you're gonna drag it up. So you can rearrange these as much as you want. But if you add them in order for the first being at the bottom, then it just kind of makes that process easier. Um, and you've like, oh wait, maybe I want this one at the top. So I'm gonna move it to the top. So you see how it's easy to kind of move around. And so let's let's kind of put a picture on here just because, just to show you. And I'm gonna put, the title's gonna be Cheryl's a Paper Chef, Chef, um, I don't know, Link. I don't know, I don't know why I call it that, but um, you could put something else down here view um i don't know help me think of something i could click the link click the buttons below to view our catalog videos and more that sounds good um and then let's put an image in there so you're going to click pick an image and i'm going to upload let's just go to pictures and Probably there are some right here under personal. Paper chef, maybe. Okay, personal. Um, here we go. I think this is actually the picture that I used. So, and you can adjust it, save, upload. So now when somebody clicks this link, they see my face. And I know, like, I used to, like, really not want to put my picture out there. I never wanted to put my picture on a business card. But people are going to remember your face more than they're going to remember your name. So always keep that in mind, guys, is as scary as it can be, they recognize, I recognize somebody's face before I recognize their name. Nine times out of ten. And I have, I've changed my name a couple of times. <laughs> so, um, but they will, they will recognize that. So don't, don't be like, oh, I don't have a good picture or, oh, and it could be like, Somebody could be in the background. So say I wanted, um, where is my, I don't know. That's probably not the best. Let's go here to Pampered Chef because I know they're here. So Hawaii, and there's me and Tyler. So I can put that picture in there and upload it. And then it's me and my husband. So don't, it doesn't have to be just you. So if you want to have you and your husband, you and your kids, but make sure you're in the picture. If you prefer just to put a pampered chef image, you can do that too. But a picture is worth a thousand words. So just keep that in mind. Um, so that's kind of what, what it's going to look like is this. When somebody clicks on the link, they're going to be like, oh yeah, there's Cheryl, my pampered chef consultant. Oh yeah, Cheryl's pampered chef links. Click the buttons below to view our catalog videos and more. And you're probably thinking, well, you didn't put any videos in there, but I'm fixing to show you how to put videos in there. So right now they can click to view the catalog, you know, and more would be other things. So let's go back and let me show you how to put a video in. All right. So we're still on appearance. So we need to put links. Okay. And the way you do links, yes, Pamper Chef on their marketing imagery has tons of videos. Unfortunately, they are not video links, but Pampered Chef has a YouTube channel. So we are gonna simply open YouTube, okay? So tell me if y'all can see YouTube right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pampered Chef has lots of, lots of videos on YouTube. All right, and let's just say I want to put the um, 2021, let's say spring products. So I'm just gonna type in 2021. And there we go, new spring products of 2021. But I wanna get that link. So I'm gonna click on the video and I'm gonna I don't know how to make it mute with, oh wait, let me do this. There we go. Okay. If I mute my computer, then y'all can hear me. 
So while the video is playing, and there may be better ways to do this, I don't really know. I'm just going to click on the YouTube link at the top, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back to YouTube or Linktree, and I'm going to add a new link, and I'm going to call it Spring New. Let's see. Let's go New Spring Summer Products 2021. New 2021. However, or you could put 2021 up here. 20. Okay, now we're going to put the link in here, but y'all got to pay attention to this. So we got the link in there, and it's going to say this looks like a video link. You can now display this as a video embedded on your link tree. So any technical people, techie people out there may understand this. But all I know is we do want it to be embedded in there because when it's embedded, that means it will automatically play when you click the link. I think that's right. If you don't embed it, then it like opens up like a YouTube channel. So we don't want to do that. We want to embed it. So I don't know if you can see this, but this button right here is green where all the rest of them are dark gray. So we're going to click on that. And Here's my options, link off of YouTube, link off this blah, blah, embed this video on my link tree. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click that button right there to embed it. Whoops. Hang on, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I have a very sensitive touchpad and it just went crazy. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So in, uh, it's embedded. And I'm just going to close that out because it will stay the way I want it. And then let's see what it looks like now. So let's click on what it looks like. So customers here, they're on my, on my link tree. And they're going to click this button about the new 2021 spring. Actually, I probably should say video. I'll fix that. Um, but when they click it, it goes already into the video. And they can just press to watch it once it loads up. So it might take it a little while just because I've got lots of things kind of happening right now. So, well, I don't know why that worked. I don't know why that did the error. Okay, so I don't know why it just did that. Um, I'll show you some others that I know work. Okay, and it could have been something I did. Um, we're gonna call that product video. Um, let's do one more so y'all can actually see how it is. Let's say stoneware is back. Watch it in action. And I'll probably misspell some words. So we're going to go back over here to YouTube. This is where I'm going to get all of my video links. And you want to stay on the Pampered Chef channel. And because if you just go into YouTube and you type in stoneware, you're going to find other consultants that have got their own videos, even though they're Pampered Chef videos it will take somebody to their YouTube channel. So make sure it always says Camper Chef. So I'm gonna put stoneware. Um, I'm new to YouTube too. So um, let's just say, well, somewhere is some new ones. Let's just put, let's just, let's just use this stoneware 101. That's good enough. Um, it's four years ago, but let's see if we can find another one. Okay, I think this is it. This is the new one, seven months ago. So that would be the new stoneware. Okay, so we're going to open it up and we're going to copy that video link and we're going to pop it in Linktree. And we're going to, oh, I know what's probably wrong. It's probably not letting us do it because it's not verified. Want to make sure that it's embedded again. Any videos you want to make sure they're embedded, I just click no thanks there because I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, but these are not like in the order I want them to be in. So I want the, that one to be up top. Maybe the stoneware to be down a couple. I want my catalog to be up closer to the top. Okay, now it looks a little bit better. So when they click on the stoneware video, it's again going to pull it up just like that. So see how this is kind of cool looking? Okay. Let's just kind of get out of this link tree. Now, what 
what you can't do is while you're, even though you have one email address and you've got four or five different Linktree accounts, um, you can't toggle between your different link trees, okay? So what you have to do, I need to get back to my guide to make sure I'm staying kind of on track with our call. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna log out of this link tree account and go to my party link tree account. So that's just kind of a little bit of how to build it. And keep in mind guys, anytime you learn something new, um, first off, if you are busy working on or learn working on learning something else, then don't you don't have to jump into something like this. I just want to make sure that you are aware of different things that you can to start doing, start learning about, and start utilizing. So um, this is not a, something that is mandatory. It is not like something that Pampered Chef tells us that we have to use. This is just another option. So let's look at my Linktree account that has my block parties in, okay? So it is called PC Cheryl. So this is what I use for my block parties. And this is where I put all my host links in there. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Let's just go over here to see what it looks like. There's that picture. <laughs> It was just a picture I had on my computer, so I used it. Um, and this is, I need to like actually change what this says here. because I'm I'll, I'll fix that eventually because now I know. Um, but I have the product catalog at the top. I have Cody's shopping link here, Donna's shopping link here, Kayla's and Laura's and my, my fundraiser. So these are all my active parties that are going on right now. I keep my host in order by first name alphabetically. So, um, and this is what happens. So if you click on this, my brother, if you click on my brother's shopping link, it's gonna take his customers that click on his link over here to the shop now button. Okay, and they can shop now. If you click on Donna's, it's gonna carry you over here to Donna's shopping link. And you know, when I asked you guys to set up your parties and I say, you know, change the name of your party, Pampered Chef defaults it to Pampered Chef Party. You always wanna put your host name in front of that. Um, so when somebody clicks on it, especially when you're using this for like a block party, they don't get confused and click on Kayla's. And so this is Kayla's Pampered Chef Party. So, you know, just make sure this is why, this is why I like Linktree for my block parties. When people click on this, they can easily find their host below. And I'll probably reword that to say, find your host below, click their button and shop now or something like that. Um, you know, and then like Laura's, but what I have found, I think it would be better to use their this other new shopping link that Pampered Chef has given us. Um, but this is what my block party looks like. And not my block, but my block party shopping link. And as you can see, like, it's funny because it, it shows you the, how many views and how many clicks, because I use this same link tree in every one of my parties. So what do I do when say, um, this one, say Mana Cafe, say that fundraiser's over. I'm just going to click the delete button. So they, nobody else will, you know, they'll never be able to get into this again. So when I had the big giant block party, mega party for all of the team, I used this same link tree. It just had every one of your names in here. So I don't have to create a new link tree for each one of my block parties. I just simply add the host to this one. And when Cody's party's over, I'm going to delete it. When Donna's party's over, I'm going to delete hers and so on and so on. And then you'll see Susie's and Julie's and Jeffrey's and stuff like that. So does that guys make sense as far as the block party and having the multiple links in there? Is that pretty? Because I want to stop for just a second yeah. and like answer any questions. 
Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about what I've gone through so far? Nope. 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 Okay. All right. So the reason I do this in my block parties is because when you're in like one big party group and you've got five or six to 10 shopping links all stacked right there together. If somebody clicks the wrong link and let's say you don't change the name on there to where it says Cody's Pamper Chef Party and they just assume, oh, okay, here it is, Pamper Chef Party. They might end up ordering on Marty's party, but really it was supposed to go to Cody. Then you've got to make sure that you delete that order, that customer reorders. It can be really tricky. That's why leak tree could be really important when you're running a block party. Um, and if y'all have not watched the block party training and why to do a block party, I definitely recommend it. So, um, okay. So let's talk about really quick, what is, what is this unparty party? Okay, and why why would this be valuable to me? And, um, you know, what are you going to get out of it? And how hard is this going to be? Well, first off, kind of what an unparty is, it's not like a, it's not something you're going to go on to Pampered Chef's Dash or into Consultant's Corner and find this information, okay? Because there's like 100,000 consultants and you're talking about 100,000 100, men and women running a business the way they want to run it. So there's all these different ideas that get thrown into a pot. It is no different than the way Donna makes her homemade biscuits, the way Terry makes her homemade biscuits, the way, so everybody does things differently. Like my closet is color coordinated. Yours may not be. Yours may be coordinated from, you know, tank tops down to long sleeves. It may be categorized winter, summer, fall, spring, whatever. Everybody does something differently. So an unparty is just a name that somebody came up with, okay? So it's not gonna, there's not gonna be any dash training or anything like that because it's not like a party type that needs um, really like, they just, it's probably something that's relatively new and it's a catchy name, okay? Because you know, I'm sure you've heard, wow, I've been in 16 different Facebook parties since COVID hit, or all my friends are having Facebook parties, or ah, da, 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 da. So it's another way for us to showcase a different party type. So this is not something, again, that you have to do. Let's just talk about it. So an unparty is a party that's not really a party, okay? So there's no Facebook group. Um, there's no cooking location for a kitchen show. So it's kind of like what you would consider kind of like old schoolers with Pampered Chef might consider a catalog show. Okay, so think about that. Terry, I know you've been around Pampered Chef. Donna's been around Pampered Chef. The other Donna's been around Pampered Chef for a long time. And, you know, and a lot of you probably familiar with Pampered Chef, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, way before Facebook. We had two party types. We had a kitchen show. And this is what it was called, a kitchen show, meaning that party took place in a kitchen. <laughs> then also a catalog show where you simply handed your host or mailed their host a few catalogs for them to pass out, right? So y'all are familiar with that. Um, and that's kind of how it was back then because there really wasn't a website for people to order. We didn't get a website until um, like 2010-ish. 2011, 12-ish, somewhere around there is when Pampered Chef went online for everybody, okay? So this is a way for us to share a link and for people to get some fun out of a link and not just a link for them to shop. So it's a way to have fun, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that there's any, inter there's no interaction between anybody it is simply i'm going to go on to this link and i'm going to take a look around now they can go to the pampered chef your shopping link and they can go into looking at different products and things like that and you know they could probably go to youtube and find some videos and they can find some stuff but why not bring all this to them in one link 
Are y'all ready to see one that I've already got made up? All right. I'll take that as a yes. So yep. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to another Linktree account that I have. <laughs> um, let's see. I think this is it. I think this is Casey's. Let me see. Oops. Saying I got to remember all my passwords too. Okay, let's see this. This might be Kayla's. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that's wrong. Don't tell me it's wrong. Make sure I manage my, um, yay, I know my password. <laughs> it's my same password, whether it's got a capital letter or not. Okay. So I'm going to minimize you guys so we can look at this. So this is a link tree I set up for one of my hosts right now. And keep in mind, she is actually a host of a virtual party. So we do have a virtual party going on. Um, but let's talk about, let's just pretend she is not a, she, we do not have a, a Facebook group. Okay, let's just pretend that Kayla is doing an unparty. So, okay, y'all with me? So what I have done, and already, look, she already has 25 views and 32 people have already clicked these links, which that's pretty exciting. Um, so let's kind of take a look at all the different links. I'm gonna go through the links on the left-hand side of the page and then we're gonna open up her shopping page in just a second. So at the very top, I've got, um, of course, her picture. So let's look at the appearance. I went on Facebook and borrowed a picture of her and her son. And I titled it Kayla's Pampered Chef Party. Click the buttons below to explore, shop, and have fun. Okay. And so let's, ch let's take a look at these links. So as we go through them, there is her shopping link at the top. And look, I even put when the party ends. So here's her. Then the host name party ends on this day. Here's the specials. Here's what's new for spring of 2021. Stoneware video. These are videos. So if you look beside this green plus sign or this green um, with the little arrow, like a video thing. So this is the video, the stoneware video. I popped in my door price slip because it is a link and I'll show you all that in a second. Um, now this is a little bit different. It says, check out the outlet, but use Kayla's shopping link above. Um, I put the link in here for people to see the outlet. It is of course my personal website because there's no really link for the host at this point, but I put in here for them to do that. You don't have to put that one in there if you don't want to. Um, I have the grill and griddle video. I have a quick cooker video. I have some fresh ideas video, the blender video. I'm trying to scroll down. Y'all are in the way. There we go. The interactive catalog and the opportunity need extra cash. So all of these are in there. So I have asked Kayla to be my guinea pig. Um, she is my first host of a virtual party that I actually created this for. And I said to her simply, do you have friends and family, maybe coworkers that are not on Facebook or that really don't have time to really explore a Facebook party? She says, oh yeah, there's plenty of people I know that aren't on Facebook, you know, like her grandmother. And, but would love to see some, a little bit more about what Pampered Chef is all about, right? Instead of, hey, here's a link, shop, put your order in. I want, you know, I want to get free stuff off of you. It's a way for her friends, family to kind of at a glance see stuff. So let's explore what it's going to look like. Again, I simply, so Donna, how did Kayla get this link? I clicked share. I copied this and I sent her this link through Messenger. And then she simply takes this link and she shares it with her friends and family. So let's click on it. Okay. So when her friends and family click on this link that she has shared with them. Let's say they're gonna check out our shopping link. It's gonna take her right to her party page to shop, making it so easy for her guest to shop, okay? 
The second one is the specials. So this is a little bit different. Um, Jill had to actually explain how this worked because our specials that are in marketing imagery are um, not links. They're actually pictures, they're posts. They're not really links. So on this one, I got a little creative. I created a Google document and I simply put the images in there. And if you decide you wanna use Linktree, you can always use my Google Doc link because I will always just be changing these out as the months change. But they can scroll and they can see what their free gift is gonna be. They can see they get free shipping. They can see the host special, the new consultant special, next month special and a consultant special. You know, you can just put all kinds of stuff. So basically this is a piece of paper with different specials on it, okay? But they can see it at a glance because that is a link. And you can share it like simply click this, post it into your link tree, all right? So let's go back to Kayla's party. So there's the video, the new, what's new with, you know, Pamper Chaff. Then let's look at the stoneware video. Oh, now here's the Google drawing form. So I want, I always want my customers to fill out my drawing form. And this is a Google document. It is our survey that a lot of us, I mean, hopefully all of us are using. If you're not using it, need to learn how to use it. We can definitely do a training for that one Thursday. Um, but creating this Google document really helps you kind of see what your customers need from you. And it can be as creative as this one or it can be as basic as you want it to be. It doesn't matter as long as they fill it out, that's what's important. But again, there is a link and that's why it can be in the link tree. Okay, so check out the outlet. So here's what this does. It takes them to my personal website. So that way they can at least see what's in the outlet. You guys, the salad berry spinners in the outlet better get it for it's gone. Um, Oh, and I need to get some more mats because I use these mats all the time when I'm cooking fish. But anyway, they can see what's on the outlet and what's on sale. Right, what else have we got? We've got the grill and griddle video. I mean, how fun is this? They don't even have to be in a Facebook party to watch videos. Quick cooker video. And the reason why I chose to put the power tools in here is because people, when they're shopping, are going to find the measuring spoons, they're gonna find the mix and chop, they're gonna find the cutting mats, you know, they're gonna find the smaller, lesser price products. And when people see all the value that they can get out of our power tools, I think that is really important because they're probably gonna be like, oh, it's $250, I don't need it. But if they pull it up and go, oh my gosh, there's seven nights, I can use this product for seven nights. Look at the value I'm gonna get out of that. And then here's just one, you know, just different, another video about, I think that was about taste buds, um, the cooking blender video, and they play. Like as soon as you click the little button there, they're going to play. Like I said, they may not when we're doing stuff. Um, the catalog is there. When they click that, they can simply flip through the catalog at their leisure. They can, you know, zoom into it, things like that. So, which is kind of nice. And I do like how they, I don't like it, but I do like how they've got it kind of grayed out for the air fryer, sadly enough. Hopefully it'll be back this month or in May. Um, I don't know why those things are being weird. I think it's just being weird because y'all are on here. Um, and then the join my team. Might be the weather. Well, that too. Oh, and I need to remove this one. That's got the wrong link on it. Well, I can do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I know what's it doing else. Okay. So this is what, but I know it works because she's already said something about it, but that's what her customers are going to see and her guests are going to see when they, um, when they go to get this link. And I simply just asked her if she wanted to be a guinea pig, share this out. Um, and she's gotten a couple of orders for them clicking that link. So that kind of explains, I think we just kind of killed two birds with one stone. Um, although hers is associated with a Facebook party already, um, you could use 
like I'm going to be using this with um, people that aren't doing Facebook parties. It's going to look just like this. And the glory of this is, so what happens, what happens when Kayla's party is over? I'm simply going to delete her picture. I'm going to delete her shopping link and say Susie wants to host next. I'm going to add Susie's picture, put Susie's name in there. And I'm going to, let me delete this down here because this has the wrong person. Delete, sorry, I just wanted to delete that. Oh, delete, there we go. All right, I had the wrong link on there. It was to a new, I, I used this with a new consultant too. So, um, but I just have to go in here and delete Kayla's link, delete her name at the top, which I would do over here in appearance. Um, put, Susie's picture up here and things like that and reuse this link right here with my next party. So that was a lot. Um, and I simply just click share and I copy and say, I go to Facebook and say, I'm in a message with, you know, let's just, well, <laughs> well, Find somebody. I was just going to like find a message. Okay, there's Donna. Let's just pull up Donna's messenger. <laughs> and I go down here to, I've got stuff in the way. Hang on, move that out of the way. And I would go down here to Donna's, to say Donna, Donna's my host and I'm going to send it to her. So I just post that in there and then I hit the send button. So then she has the link to share out to her friends. So I hope that kind of makes a little bit of sense. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pause the share. Actually, I want to stop the share and see what questions you guys might have. So definitely unmute and let's kind of chat about this for a couple of minutes. Um, so Terry's got a question. So hang on, let me hit the chat really quick. So, um, okay. Jennifer was shopping. Her mom's not feeling well. And so Terry says, can you share this with us, her party link tree, so we can check it out closer? Absolutely. I can send that to you. I'll, uh, I'm doing one for myself personally. So I'll put all that, I'll give that to y'all. That way it doesn't get mixed up. And one of my hosts is like, wait a minute, what's going on here? So I'll share mine with you guys. Um, it is, it is what I have decided, Terry, just to kind of let you know, because I'm looking at all of your stuff. Um, yes, you can do more than one at a time. And that's why, if you noticed, let me go back to screen share and let's get back over here into my link tree. Let me click this one out, this one out, this one. Okay, so I'm gonna log out a link tree really quick and I'm gonna show you something. Well, I gotta log out. All right, so let's log in, okay. Okay, y'all look at this. You'll see that there is multiple usernames here, right? Okay, so what I've done is the PC party with Cheryl Wyatt is one that is for me, like for anything that I ever want to do. Like if I want to do a party, like a customer appreciation party, that's actually what that is. Um, or say I want to do anything, but that's always going to be mine. The ones that say PC party with Cheryl one, and then there's going to be PC party with Cheryl two and three and whatnot. Those are going to be for different hosts. So if I have four hosts one week, I will utilize PC party with Cheryl one, two, three, and four and say one is going to be associated with Kayla. Two is going to be associated with Donna. Three is going to be associated with Laura. And the other one is going to be associated with whichever one. Um, you can use the same password, which will make it really easy for you to do. Don't go in there and start being like, I need to change passwords. I literally am using the same password for each one of those. The only thing that I ran into is when I was on my phone and created it, it automatically per puts the first letter as a capital. But when you're on your computer, it doesn't. So that one I've got to change to where it's a lowercase um, so I know what I'm doing and I also have them saved. So when I'm on my computer, cause I'm the only one that's ever on here they can't get to any of this. 
unless they have my my um, password to get into my computer first off. So I can click right there and it's going to take me to this one. Or I can click this one, it's going to take me to that one. Or if I can click this one, so I'm not all the time having to click around. Um, in your phone, you can do the face recognition. I'm just learning that face recognition. But yes, you can use um, multiple Linktree accounts for each one of your parties or one Linktree but account for each party. You are saying that each one of them, one, two, three, and four, each has its own password though, correct? Or is no. it all the same All four I'm of only, the same yes, password. Donna, for, for me to make my life easier, the password is all the same. The for username. One, two, three, and four. Yes, because okay. the user, well, the reason is, is the username is different. So the username is going to be like Cheryl1 or Cheryl2, Cheryl3. <laughs> so I'm using the same password. So I remember it. Okay, I got you. Yeah, it's not like you can log into, if you're logged into PC Party with Cheryl1, it's not going to, and you put the password in, it's not going to open up two, three, and four. Only if the right. username, yeah. Okay, so, that's yeah. what I was getting at. Okay. Yeah. Makes it really easy for me and my brain and me not try to keep up with all these things. It would be hard to remember if you had to have yes. all four. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, that's why I got stressed out because it ended up capitalizing. I made one yesterday when I was at the hair salon and I was on my phone and it, it capitalized the number and I didn't realize or the letter of the first of the password. And I thought, oh. So I got to go back in and make it lowercase because I don't want it to be always capital because I won't remember that. But anyway, um, questions. Anybody else got questions? Do you look at mine yet? No, it came up like right as I was trying to get off. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't know because, I mean, it's just basic right now. I'm fooling with yeah. it, but I just wondered if you had looked at it yet. Not yet. Oh, and okay. So. All right, now y'all calm down. I'm going to show you an advanced move, okay? Oh, Lord. <laughs> so just sit down and just listen. It's an advanced move, but it is gloriously easy to do. And I do, okay, to answer y'all's questions, I'm doing it from my computer just because I've worked on a computer for 40 years and it's just what I'm doing. Um, has it been that long? Probably 30 years. No, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do this. So I'm going to open this back up really quick. And okay. Hello. Oh, I thought she was talking to us. <laughs> I can't do it. I had a phone call. Oh, <laughs> hi, Donna. We can hear you. All right. So we're going to do, let's just say, let's look at this PC with Cheryl Wyatt. All right. You know it takes your password when it takes a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to open up another tab, another link tree tab. I'm actually, oh, I think it'll let me do it. So log in. We'll log into a, uh, y'all just, y'all just follow me for a second. Um, <sighs> All right. I just want to make sure sometime. Okay. So now I have two link trees open. I'm going to close all these other ones out. So we don't get all like, okay. Okay. So we have two link tree tabs up. Okay. You see a purple one and a pink one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if say I was creating something so I could add a new link. Oh, I don't want to mess with hers. So let's go over here to mine. So I'm gonna add a new link and I'm just gonna say um, something, <laughs> whatever it's gonna be. <laughs> and I don't wanna to have to go back to YouTube or to Pamper Chef. Those links that I'm always reusing over and over and over again, like a YouTube video, um, anything that just is not like party related, okay? So, I'm going to go over here to Kayla's party and I'm going to click on the specials. I'm going to highlight it. And I'm mm -hmm. going to come back over here. Let's just put specials. Yep. Let's just type specials. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit paste. Bam. Awesome. 
Like that is great. What I did find that helped me to toggle back and forth was for me to actually open up for you computer, your laptop, whatever, desktop users, create another, um, get out of like be in different browsers. Like I'm in Chrome yeah. right now. You can go to incognito or you can go to edge or whatever, and you can toggle back and forth. I like to toggle. I don't like to click the tabs, but, um, but you just copy, like Terry said, copy and paste. And that is like the easiest, see how easy it was to delete that. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, that was mine. Okay. So, but see when you're on the same browser, sometimes it, it will merge the two. So that's why when you're toggling, you're better off to open up like another browser mm -hmm. and toggle back and forth from there. Um, just because see what it did this was one was mine and one was Kayla's and it's made them the same it's because of the cookies and it recognizes history and so it's really good if you're going to copy and paste use a separate browser mm -hmm. for those of you that know what I'm talking about um so that was that was an advanced move yeah <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about this I mean I simply my message to Kayla the other day was I'll tell you really quick um and because I just thought, well, she's been really receptive to most everything. Because, you know, you've got those hosts. And then you've got those hosts. Yeah. You know, with me? Yeah. And um, Kayla's been really, she's been really receptive of everything. And I said, um, I wanted to look and see if I could find it. Oh, that was my question about her joining the team, which she's now thinking about it. Um. Well, I don't know where it's at because I just, oh, I said it to Laura. Hold on. I'll tell you what I said to Laura. Me and, me and Kayla talked a long time last night. So, okay. So I told Laura, I said, I said, do you have friends that would prefer seeing videos and some other cool things without going on Facebook to see? I've got a new thing that's been pretty successful in grabbing more party orders, especially from those who aren't on Facebook. And, um, she said, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. And I said, well, it's worked well for the last few hosts I've tried. That's tried it. It's one link. They have multiple buttons. They can shop, watch videos and look at other things if they choose. Do you want to try it? She's like, well, what do I have to do? <laughs> and I said, um, just between now and when the party ends, um, hang on. Oh, we were, we're in the middle. We were like, you know how you're in one conversation, but you're answering another, you know, it's like a, so I said, think of those who aren't on Facebook too. I think it's a combination of, oh, we're talking about the weather. Um, I just told her basically, she just needs to um, copy and paste it. And I'm going to send her some words. So I'm going to send my host some words to use and the link at the bottom. And then that way she can be like, hey, you know, I know you're really busy and here's a really quick way to see some cool, fun videos, blah, 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 blah. You know, and if you decide you want something, here's the link to shop. I don't know, whatever I'm going to say. And then that way she can copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And, you know, hopefully grab some more orders. I mean, it, it just seems a little bit more personal than sending out that just here's my shopping link. Well, yeah. my, you know what? They might want to get something out of it, right? Yeah. So, um, but just like I did with the shared rewards training, if you guys have got a chance to look at that, I will um, create this video as a link and put the verbiage and stuff that I've been using in a document to where you can rewatch this video, you can grab some um, words to use to create yours, and I'll even put like some images of what it looks like. But, you know, what do y'all, what do y'all think about this? Does this look like something that you would like to give a try i am i'm working on it absolutely maybe i think it's like, awesome i have I been doing link tree but i'm not to this extent and i'm really excited to because my party i'm doing right now she has people that aren't on and she's sharing the link but this would be so much easier yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's kind of cool to kind of give them something else. Because that way they can see some of the videos and the specials. Right. And yeah, right. I love it. And, and you uh, can choose. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. You can actually choose what videos, you know, I just chose some power tools and I really wanted 
And here's another thing. Um, if you have your own video, like if I'm in my kitchen and I want to show the salad choppers or the, um, like in my mind that I'm, I'm going to share with you guys, it has the products that are $25 and under. So there's a link for products $25 and under. And, you know, maybe say I was live in my kitchen or say I was, I did a video in my kitchen, you know, they could actually, and I could load it up into my, well, YouTube, I got to get my account back, but load it up into YouTube and I could share that YouTube link. Mm -hmm. So that's just another way to like really personalize and, you know, come into more people's homes and they get to know you a little bit better too. Yeah. I have a suggestion. Okay. Could one of your Thursdays be teaching us how to create our YouTube channel? Um, yeah, you know, I got blocked from YouTube about six months ago, so I don't even have a YouTube channel. I'm going to try to. What did no, you do? I, I got hacked and um, they sent a message to me saying that I'm like, oh, so I had inappropriate videos. Okay, you mean like um, stoneware and uh, cookware and recipes? I mean, Train. I had training videos on there, and I can't even access my account. I tried You're kidding to, me. No, and so it really ticked me off. And then I thought, I don't care. I don't need YouTube. And now I'm like going, crap. but um, I can. What if I can ever get? I'm gonna try. I guess I'll just have to use my husband's email address. I don't know. I don't know how to. But it was all tied. All my videos. It was in my parties. So I, when I would go back and sit share, and I was sharing videos. I realized I couldn't even share my old videos anymore because they were my YouTube channel videos. Oh no! I, it had me screwed up, and I thought that's all I need. I'm still I'm trying to recover from being in the hospital for a month, and here y'all are jacking me up. And so yeah, so thank you Facebook, but then, thank you whoever sabotaged my account. But but remember when Laura, um, oh, Lito. or one of the advanced who said that she did that video, and she had her pajama top on and she didn't have a bra on and she was just showing the headlights right but she never got blocked she got blocked she never got blocked no she didn't got blocked but she yeah. was showing her headlights because <laughs> everybody commented on it and she still uses it is it laura Polito? yes i don't have headlights and it's so, so funny when you hear her tell the story I did not know that. That's hilarious. That is, that's super funny. Maybe I shouldn't have shared, but yeah. It yeah. Well, I mean, it's more. out there. I mean, because it's usually public, but I, yeah, I have no, like all my kernel cutter videos. Yep, none. Luckily, I had them saved on my phone. So I've uploaded them into my VIP page. Um, but you could really share like your Facebook group. I know Jill's got one of her clicks, is it her Facebook group? So if your group is public, then um, I think that's right. I don't know. I think that would work. I mean, it's it's definitely Probably. something to try. And and yes, Donna, I totally get where you're like, okay, I need to wait for on that. But you know, it's just another option. And so, but yeah, we can do um, we can do a YouTube. I really want to do like a sit share and post my party. I've only been telling Teresa and Donna about that um for a while i'm gonna go ahead and stop share because i think we're does anybody else got any questions about the link tree before i stop the recording okay we're going to stop the recording oh.